A quick overview of using the Xtool Creative Space software. So if you look here at the bottom of the dock in the video, you can see this green icon is our Xtool Creative Space. When you open it up, this is the view that you'll see. In the upper right hand corner, you're going to want to click on New Project. This is where we're going to be doing all our work. Remember, in this class, you must create everything, right? We're not going to use any pre-made stuff. So the first thing you'll notice is a screen here that shows a grid layout. This is the uh, area in which our laser engraver can work. So that's where you would put whatever the um, items you're going to be engraving or cutting or etch etching. Now yours is just going to be blank here. If you're actually connected to the machine, you can get a preview view of the actual item. But for right now, what's important is just understanding how this works. Uh, up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see Xtool P2. That is actually our laser engraver. Yours might not have that. Mine's a computer is set because of it was connected to the machine. All right, quick overview. If this is our area we can work in, what you need to understand is this program works in layers. So you can put in multiple layers and have each layer do a different thing. So to best show you what I'm talking about, uh, let's first just decide what we're going to be working with for material. So when the upper right hand corner it says user defined material, here's where you can change this at any point, but we should select the material we're working with. Are you making something out of wood or plastic or aluminum or leather or what? All kinds of different options. So I'm just going to select this basswood and confirm it. Now all my settings are going to be to using this wood. Again, we can change it, but just a good starting point. So what are these tools here along the left hand side? This is everything that you have to be working with when you are going to um, laser engrave or etch or cut your product. The text tool, we're going to start there. I'll come back to the image one. If I click on text, you can go anywhere in this area where you could have material. You simply click in here and you can begin to write whatever you want. Now, when you do this, you have some options. And here's why I wanted you to choose a material here first, because then all of your options pop up. So with this text, we have the option to score it. And here's kind of a preview of what it would look like scored. Scored is basically just does like an outline of that object. This is a grid showing you the speed of the laser and the power, because right down here, we see it's set at a power of 20, a speed of 150. So 150 power 20 right here is what yours is going to look like. If you want it a little darker, you can increase that power. Um, but the default settings are pretty good on these. Now the uh, text is outlined like this because that's what a score would do. If you wanted to fill that in, all right, have the entire letters, that is engraved. So if I click on engrave, here you can see the letters are now filled in because it is going to engrave that entire letter in, not just the outline of it, but the entire letter. And finally, we have cut. Cut would simply cut it right out. So that would cut those letters right out of whatever um, of the wood. So that is the text tool with these different settings. And again, it's nice with this preview here. You can actually take a look and with the pre-made different materials, it shows you the speed and the power to kind of get the results you want. If you want something engraved and you want this a little darker, you can put those settings. So say you wanted this pretty dark, you might like the 25% um, power at the speed of 200. So then you would simply go down here and say, well, I want a speed of 200 and I want 25% power. And then that would give you this darker image right there. Okay. Besides the text, you have sh shapes. You can do lines, rectangle, circles. So a rectangle, pretty obvious. Just make a rectangle. Once you make any of these, obviously you can rotate them. All right. I want to add that you can also do that with your words, any text. And then this lets you actually wrap it around a circle. So different diameter circles. All right. Up or down which is kind of a nice feature. If I go back to the rectangle here and I select it, again, you can see I can score where it would just kind of burn that line in. Engrave it would fill in that entire area. Definitely don't want that. And then cut would actually cut it out. So that would be like, this is the final product size. And then whatever inside here um, is going to be whatever other etching or you're going to be doing. Uh, besides that, there is also circles. 
You could do overlapping things. When I drag this around, I don't know if you noticed, uh, there's a line here going right through the middle to center things for you. To delete something, simply press delete. If I wanted this name centered, you can see when I move it around, it says, oh, there's the center on the um, Y axis. Here's the center on the X and, and Y. It's perfectly centered in that box. The pen tool here allows you to plot points so you can go around something. So say it's not a square or a circle, you can go around, you can match it up. You can then take those points and you can also move them at any point as well. All right, you can add points in, so as many or as few as you need to cut out or engrave around certain objects, images, whatever. Down below that, we have the basic shapes tool. So here there's all kinds of basic shapes built in. You can see more by clicking on the more button there. Uh, again, a lot of basic shapes. There's different borders. So if you wanna put a decorative border around something like a plaque, there's all different kinds. There's plants, animals, festival. Right now I'm making this video, it's mid-September. So they're gonna have a lot of Halloween stuff because it's that time of year. Scroll down further, you can see there's other stuff, some winter stuff here as well. There's different patterns you could put in, making parts if you're going to actually like bolt something together, and as well as some other images. This AI is basically what it, exactly what it sounds like. It's an AI feature. We're not going to be using this because that's having AI do work for you instead of you doing the work. Um, plus, it takes some credits and stuff we're not going to mess with. All right, and then that leaves us with this right up here, this image. The image is going to allow you to draw something or have a picture of something that you can then engrave, etch, cut, whatever. So this is going to be something typically you're going to engrave in. So if I click on the image, I've got a Mustang logo, school logo here. I'm going to load that. You can see here is my, let me get rid of some of this other stuff. Here's my Mustang logo. Okay, you can adjust the size simply by grabbing a corner. You can rotate it around. Okay, there's all different kinds of stuff you could do. Um, and this has a default setting default setting of engraving because an image is not something you're gonna wanna cut out. An image is something you wanna have engraved in. Now, the settings here of 7% power at 300 speed is based on my material that I selected earlier. If you don't have a material selected, it's not gonna know what to do. So that's again why you want to choose a material to begin with. You can also resize things up here as far as like the thickness of your material, make some other um, settings you can change. Uh, in addition, you can have some other settings up here. You could trace the image. So if you click on trace and then you click save, what it will do is it will come up and it will trace that image. Now this, all right, because it's these lines that was drawn because it was traced from this image that you can score engrave which would be the same thing as having the image or you can cut it out so if you're not happy with the engrave setting you can click on that image you can trace it and then that trace because that's lines and not just an image you can then score engrave or cut there's some other tools up here as well but i just wanted to make the basic um, overview of how this program works the way you would take everything I showed you is you stack it and layer it and you could say things like okay I want the name up here I want the name scored in underneath the name I'm gonna center this logo that I also want to that I want to engrave in and then uh, because if I had a bigger piece of wood this rectangle I then want to have cut so once the laser runs this program it would etch this name in it would engrave this Mustang logo and then it would cut it all out and you'd have your final product. Each individual item on here, the rectangle, the text, the image, each one can have different settings as whether it's gonna be scoring, engraving, cutting, and it shows you a preview of that over here. Of course, you'll ask your teacher to help you out uh, with any questions you have. The final thing I wanna show you is I've been showing you this as the overall view of a giant piece of wood inside the laser engraver. It is very rare we're going to work with something that big. So you would probably need to zoom in all right, to your work area. To do that, if I change from the select tool here to the hand, I can 
zoom in here. I'm just using a trackpad. You can use the mouse. And I can drag around. And then you can work in a much smaller area. I can take everything, make it a size. If I want to change this to, like, say, a business card size, I maybe get rid of that. I want to make a much, much smaller. If I, say, wanted to make a wooden business card or something like that, I can draw up. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. I want the basic shapes. Now you might be wondering, well, how can I tell how big this is? All right, when you have this item selected up here, it tells you your X and Y. So I've got 245 millimeter X right here, from here to here, and my um, Y is 102, so that tells you how tall it is in millimeters. So you can adjust whatever you want um, for your sizes. Again, quick overview. Hope that uh, makes sense to you.